Hey everybody, welcome back. So we're gonna look at another build today. We're gonna look at my uh, pink mist, because you fear the pink mist. I don't really have a, a reason for naming it that other than pink and uh, no other reason really, honest. Uh, so let's go ahead and get down into what it's made of. Start with the weapons. On the right arm, we have the laser rifle, the VE-66 LRB. This is the big one of the three. There's, you see, they've got the VP-66LR, the VE-66LRA, and then we have the VE-66LRB. And yeah, oh yeah. Oh, this one has less ammo. So we got, got the big boy of these three, because you can, got the arms to handle it. On our right hand, we're using the Gatling gun, because, I mean, honestly, it's one of the best weapons for maintaining, if even adding impact, or, well, damage to the ACS of your enemy. I mean, if we take a look in here, I know that it shows accumulative and the impact being low health, the attack power is low, but the thing is, it also has the highest rap rapid fire or rate of fire in the game, period, and number of rounds. You'll eat through those rounds quickly, but not super quickly. Ideal range is pretty close. You want to be really close, actually. Uh, and that's actually kind of how this build is made. It's sort of like a surprise up close sniper. It's not really... I don't use this gun at range a whole lot. Sometimes I'll, I'll chip damage them if I feel like I need to, but usually it's just like charge it until you need to do a nice big smack of damage after you gotten their impact down because on the shoulders we're power stancing the the mlt 10s these are the 10 times missiles and there's a reason why i'm going with these and not like the 12s that are the vertical launch or the split missiles which actually do even more impact which it would make sense to use the split missiles but i just like the fact that these come up straight out they just shoot straight at your enemy and it's 10 of them it's not too hard to land all 10 of these on the target. The split missiles are effective, and sometimes I will affect, like swap them out, but usually I just stick with the 10s. Go ahead and go to the head here. We're using the barrel, partly because of necessity, just so we have the AP that is up there, but also to maintain having some energy defense too, because the only other two heads that have more AP don't have the energy defense this one does. And this, this is kind of meant to be a little bit of a, a bullet sponge of all sorts. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one here. We're using the HAL 826. This is uh, becoming fairly popular lately. Not everybody's kind of made it through the game enough to actually unlock this. But anyhow, the reason why we're using this is actual necessity. Every single other uh, core has a problem, and that is energy output. They just all use way too much energy, even a lightweight. <laughs> so ends up being kind of the only one I can use on this build, the way it's currently set up. If I shuffle things around, obviously it'd be able to work with others, but it kind of seems best with that one. Another necessity built thing is the HAL arms being on it, because they're the only ones that have the load limit alongside with the energy limit too. And then these arms just make us too heavy. <laughs> they wouldn't have the fire uh, firearm specialty uh, specialization. They wouldn't have the firearm specialization that I would want anyway. The only thing that I could really do to improve that is I would have to find a way to lighten up the guns that are on it, and I don't want to. So yeah, on to the leg. We're using the fastest boost speed uh, leg part that you can get, which is the the handicap wheelchair legs, and. That's pretty much because they fast. They so fast. You can do circles around most everybody without even using your quick boost. And then you pop the quick boost and you got a pretty good quick boost. Well, the jet duration is short, like super short. But like, I mean, look at that. Oops. Look at that. Thrust is maxed out. Reload time maxed out. Consumption maxed out, as in like best of all of those. It has the best travel speed, it has the high, high speed performance. It's just, it's raw speed. If you're going to make ACs for racing, these would be the wheelchair parts, or these would be the chair parts you would want, or <laughs> the leg parts that you want. I can't even talk about it right. So boosters, we have none because of the, the legs. The, being those track parts, the track parts don't they, they have their own booster sets. I could improve this with another FCS. Honestly, I could probably improve it with this FCS right here, to be honest. 
I just unlocked it. I didn't even really think about using this one. So let me consider this for a second. Yes, it actually has better stats for the third for the stats that I generally use this AC for. Close, medium, and missiles. So I guess I will. Changing to the WLT 001. I actually haven't even used it in this configuration yet, so <laughs> hopefully it works better. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it will. It has better stats for the things I needed it for. So we'll move on to the next thing, which is the generator. I do actually have hopes to upgrade the generator soon. I just need to make a little bit more money to get one of these VE20s on there. Uh, actually, I think, yeah, I think it's the VE20A maybe or the VE20C. Let's take a quick look here in the parts shop. VE20C, or no. Oh, yeah, it was the VE20A, that one. Right there. Mainly because energy firearm specialization goes up and I can actually use it. But for now, this one actually works. It just doesn't have the firearm specialization I want on the on the energy firearm. And for our plug-in, we're using the pulse armor. It could be any of these, honestly. This thing is built being able to use all of these. Actually, first let's make this money real quick. Not enough to get it. Okay. Let's gotta take this into some team. All right, here we go. Of course, we have somebody rolling Zimmers and dual flamethrowers. Oh my god, this is gonna be awful. <laughs> Wow. I see some missiles on hands too. Well, one. Missiles on one hand. Oops, sorry. Did I get this charging? I'm really hating the fire. No! So close to having that guy. And it didn't help that we couldn't really see what was going on at the end of that. He's still so close. I, th I don't think he's died yet. I think our team's still at zero. Oh, I fired it too early. going to demand attention. Like, look at me! Look at me! I want all of your attention! Please! Oh, 
no, no, no. Oh yeah, no, you wanted my attention that bad, buddy. You got it. I don't think it was actually slim for a guy that got me that time. I knew this was going to be rough going into this because of what I was up against. There's frankly a lot of people on the other team using stuff that's a little bit on the strong side. I'll admit, the dual flamethrowers aren't exactly OP. I don't want to say that they are. Oh buddy! You did. <laughs> They're doing a really good job of using each other to try and keep these people not utilizing um, auto lock. Sometimes it's hard to turn it off at the end. We didn't do too bad. We did second to last, but or third to last. 291 is better than 259 and 2092. Okay, we did third to last. We came in fourth. <laughs> Next match. Pink Monkey. Man, or Pink Money. I really thought it was Pink Monkey. What's up, bro? Let's do this. Good dodge on that. Where'd he go? I don't see him. He's trying to keep his distance. Which is kind of smart. Managed to barely get him. Just kidding, it wasn't barely at all. <laughs> Alright, that was only the first match though. See how he does on the second one.
Don't get too close to this build. I'll make you pay for that. Nice little dodge. Oh, he's using the permanent armor. That's what's happening. We gonna be nice. We're gonna give him a good job before you dip out of his map. Where's that? Show chat. Good job. Alright. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and come back for more. Bye.